Oh man, Victoria flashes me another award-winning smirk and then picks up her purse. Pretty up already. I'd like to sleep by a reasonable time tonight. Oh, hi everyone. I didn't even do that. By the way, hi. We were just so excited. I know, right? <laughs> oh, Victoria's already way ahead of me, taking a hold of her bags behind us, uh, of the of the bags behind us, and leaving me to pick up whatever's left over. After everything we've done today, I actually can't wait to get into bed too. Eh. God mm. damn it! All right, as soon as I slip <laughs> into my room, it's like whatever last bit of energy I had bleeds right out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I cough it up. All the. <laughs> All of a sudden, I can just feel how exhausted I am. Shoulders drooping a little. The first thing I do is pull my camera bag over my head, dropping it next to the makeshift little nightstand next to my bed. I throw myself onto the bed right after, seeing, uh, setting aside the plastic bag full of my new clothes. I kick off my shoes, laying down with a long sigh. The back of my head bumps against the wall, craning my neck to an awkward angle. Oof. Could you get any less comfortable, Max? Groaning, <laughs> <laughs> groaning a little, I'm about to slide down a little more when I'm rewarded by the sight of the plastic bag resting innocently next to my knee. Without thinking, I sit up a little to reach for the bag, pulling it onto my stomach. I seriously can't stress how thankful I am for today, but knowing Victoria, she definitely doesn't want to hear any more of that. That doesn't mean I can't think it, though. I don't think I ever got uh, to get a real good look at them between me having a heart attack and Victoria shooing me out of the store. But I know they're nice. Victoria wouldn't leave me with anything less. I pull out the bundle of clothes, running my thumb over the rough denim of the white jeans. Wow. I follow the stitching on them, but since they're folded up, I can't really appreciate it. I then, oh, it is only then that I see the tag brand is called Loser. <laughs> That would be really great. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess, because next I'm burring my fingers in the softness of the cardigan. It's almost so delicate I'm afraid I'm going to tear it. The color is real pretty, too. Super vibrant. I pull it up closer to me, and I think I can smell some Victoria's perfume on it. Probably... Ugh, this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just my imagination. When I, pull a, uh, when I pull it up to my nose, all I catch is the new clothing smell you get from practically anywhere. Suddenly, oh god, it's so loud! Suddenly my phone <laughs> vibrates in my pocket against what I'm assuming is a pot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it, that's so funny. Startling me. Like a little. Oh my god. <laughs> just, just a little. <laughs> Get it together, Max. Fuck, just pick up your phone. Dork. <laughs> I drop the card again back down on my stump and I dig back in, uh, I dig into my back pocket to get my phone. This time of night it might be Chloe asking me if I'm, if I'm, again, if I'm alive. It could be Kate, but considering how late it is, I kind of doubt it. Then again, I'm not entirely convinced it's Chloe, mostly because despite a few texts here and there, she actually hasn't been texting me as much as usual. I wonder why, but I know it's, it's something's up she'll tell me. Anyways, I unlock my phone to check on Chloe's inevitable text, only to see it's not from Chloe or Kate, and as cool as it would have been, uh, would have had Rachel text me, it's not her either. It's not even Warren, who was with his track record of blowing up my phone would be a perfect candidate. Oh, God damn it. It's not even Warren, who with his perfect track record of blowing up my phone would be a perfect candidate. What the fuck is wrong with me today? You can do it. I super believe in you. Oh my god. It's not even <laughs> Warren. It's not It's not even Chris. It's not even <laughs> ten tuplers. <laughs> Just a serious book. Yeah. It's Oh. I knew it. Who else was it going to be the janitor? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> that would be super weird to say. <laughs> Oh, anyways, uh, are you awake? By now, I should probably be getting used to all these surprises, but it's hard when Victoria keeps flinging more at me. I want her to send a picture of, like, a selfie, and she's got those damn sunglasses on her. I'm gonna feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I smile more than a little confused. It's kind of funny, considering we just went our separate ways. 
That and the fact that she's literally one door away from me. And that she has... And she was the one who suggested we come back in. But she still wants to talk? Maybe she forgot to bring something up while we were in the parking lot. Ugh, fine, never mind. It looks like I took uh, so long to reply that she actually sent another text and it makes me hur hurriedly tap my phone. I don't want her to think I'm ignoring her or anything. No, I'm up. I was just uber dis- <laughs> whatever. Uber distracted. <laughs> so, nothing out of the ordinary then? Hey. Please, I'm clearly telling the truth and you know it. I snort softly. Victoria even has a way of coming off as super catty even in text. <laughs> That's kind of impressive. Should I apologize or something? Oh, Victoria, please forgive me. Okay, no, gross. Don't do that. <laughs> Victoria doesn't respond as quickly this time, and I spent a good minute staring at my phone before realizing how lame that is. I shouldn't be so focused on texting Victoria anyways. As soon as I put my phone back in my uh, back on my chest, though, it vibrates. Ah! Again, and I hastily <laughs> lift it back over. God damn it! Back over my face. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> I don't know how this comes off in the video. Because I don't know, because I can't even hear it. Okay, so. okay. The, the only way I can describe it is, if, if it doesn't come off this way because of how we mix audio, mm -hmm. imagine if you put your phone right next to your ear, and in between your phone and your ear is a metal plate. <laughs> <laughs> so when it vibrates, <laughs> it's, just, it's very shocking. Huh. Weirdo. I wanted to ask you, sorry, the text is a little hard to read. If you bothered to hang your new outfit up. Hang it up. Pretty much the instant I sent that send that text, I catch on to how dumb the question was. I lift up the cardigan just so I can gro uh, groan against it. This is some designer stuff. Of course you'd want me to take, uh, to take care of it. Okay, so that's a no. It wrinkles, so you can't just sloppily throw it around like everything else you own. Sorry, I'm kind of new to the whole actually having fashionable clothing clothing thing. Are you going to give me more pointers, oh wise one? Maybe. Would you take them? Oh god, this is flirting. This is flirting, everybody! Oh god, red alert! <laughs> <laughs> Battle stations! <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> but oddly enough, the question makes me squirm a little. I shake my head a little to nudge the cardigan off my nose. Would I? I was just kidding, but after today, would that really be so bad? Yes. Uh, should we be coy? Should we say maybe? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Everything I choose seems to suck, so maybe you should make the choice this time. Maybe. Okay, Maybe. Would it be worth my time to let you play dress up with me? Why would you answer it like that? <laughs> I don't know, but I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Go, please respond in kind. It didn't say the whole goddamn answer. It just said. I feel like it would have been something stupid anyway because it's it's Max and she's a dork. Oh. The message comes out a way differently than I intended. I actually feel my <laughs> cheeks heat up. It would. You'd look presentable for once. Oh my god, I think- Mitchell, I think we made one correct. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, this is not a drill! Sound <laughs> the actual alarms! <laughs> uh, oh, uh, you actually have a nice figure, so- Oh my god, oh, I'm so, dying! Oh, you're so okay. <laughs> Your wardrobe is honestly a shame. <laughs> <laughs> you're- Oh my god, the cutest. Oh my god, I I pause, sucking in a little breath. Oh, um, that was surprisingly more genuine than I was expecting. <laughs> anyway, that's not what this is about. It's not, yes? So you're telling me you didn't message me just to have a nice conversation about my fashion sense? Partially. I raised both my brows, way more curious than before. As much as I really want to uh, respond, my neck is also cramping up from the position. Ugh. 
I push myself up, <laughs> up on my elbows, leaning against the wall. I just like the idea that her head is tilted in such a way that it's Gibson her like four chins, and she's like, ah, ah. <laughs> well, that's that's you know the typical position one finds themselves when they're texting someone they like late at night. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm careful not to mess up any of my Polaroids plastered on it, peeking behind me for a second before focusing on my phone again. What's that supposed to mean? I wanted to know if you tried on what I bought you. Since you obviously didn't get the chance to earlier. That just brings my attention back to the clothes that have fallen down to a little bundle on my lap. Victoria brings up a pretty good point. I frown a bit and put down my phone to hold the shirt out in front of my face. It doesn't look like there will be a problem, but what if it doesn't fit? Uh... I haven't, actually. Ugh, groan. Of course you haven't. Hey, I was gonna wear them tomorrow anyways. So I didn't think I had to. My breath catches a little at her next text. <gasps> I want you to. Just, like, to make sure, you know, not that I think you got the wrong size or anything. Not that I like you or anything, Baka. Baka, Baka, Right so now? Baka! <laughs> <laughs> That joke- oh, And I hate your chicken sundere. Eh? I hate the fact that that joke is two years old and it's still one of the funniest dumb things between us. I love that. That's gotta be more than two years. Oh time. god, yeah, it's been like five. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Is that a serious question? I left- I laugh under my breath, <laughs> resting my phone down against my leg for a second. I changed Victoria's profile picture to a chicken. <laughs> of course Victoria would just spawn like that. I bounce my knees slightly and the jeans go up with it. You could always try saying please. Ugh. Seriously? It's a suggestion. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> In your dreams. Aw, oh, it was worth a shot. You just love wasting time, don't you? <laughs> kind of seriously, Max. <laughs> um, go ahead already. Rather than respond again, I just roll my head back against the wall and prepare myself to get up. I really seriously don't want to, or it's more like I just want to curl up in bed and knock out. But now that Victoria's brought it up, I'm pretty curious as to how they'll look on me. After a good two minutes of considering my options, not that they were many in the first place, I force myself to bounce onto my feet holding the clothes at all. And, and all. I... I stretch first, clothing fisted in my hand, and then re resign myself to the fate of trying them on. The jeans go first, obviously. Oh, then obviously. there's the shirt, and lastly the cardigan. No matter what Victoria said, they are actually not as wrinkled as she probably thinks they'd be. I know how to handle stuff well too. Sometimes. As soon as I, as soon as everything's on, I step in front of a mirror and check myself out. Oh, she looks cute. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow! <laughs> it was it was twice. <laughs> One was I town. I know you're just sitting there like Mitchell just saying the fucking line. Was... Please, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> we have to continue this. When... <laughs> Jesus Christ! When I put them on. It's kind of painfully apparent that this isn't my usual style, which is probably the point, but... Is that is that the outfit she wore when she was um, in the episode where every, where she goes back in time and everything was, like, backwards and she was friends with Victoria? Uh, oh, God, I, I don't remember. I kind of feel like it was, but I'm not really sure. I, oh, you know, we'll, we'll look it up later. I'm okay. genuinely shocked at how good I, I think they look on me. And it's not that I think my other clothes don't look great, because they do, it's just that these are so different. And Victoria wasn't wrong when she said they'd fit great together. It's it's weird because I don't feel out of place or anything in them. I feel like maybe I should. Instead, they're comfortable. A different kind of comfortable than my dear shirts and jeans, but still comfortable. I tuck a lock of hair behind my ear, ducking my head down a little, and smiling sheepishly at myself. It's only when I hear the little buzz from my phone that I remember I should probably text Victoria back. I take a few steps back to my bed, sitting down, while one hand picks up my jeans. I unlock my phone with the other. Max. I'm here. 
and they, um, they fit. Good. What a relief. I'm not sure how to respond to that, but luckily Victoria sent something again, so I don't have to. How do they look? They look really good. Define really good. Oh my gosh, she's asking for a picture in a very <laughs> indirect way. <laughs> um, they're really color coordinated. Oh god. Okay, scratch that, Jesus. I'll save you the effort. Just put those stupid selfie taking skills to use. All right, and with that, we're gonna end today's episode. Okay. <laughs> little little cliffhanger there. So and I'm gonna look up that. Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead. yeah. I'm go gonna ahead. find out. Um, real quick though, before before we leave the viewers, uh, so <sighs> how do you think this is going? Like in terms of a route, before we get going here, like how 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 do you think we're doing? Because it seems like we're on the right path here. Um. How do I think, or are you asking the viewers? Well, kind of I can't both. respond right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of both. Um, well, I think, uh, I think we're doing okay. I, I don't know exactly, because I know I've played a lot of, um, visual novel games like this that aren't very forgiving, and so I don't know how forgiving this one would be about certain things, because I don't know how terribly bad we've screwed up. Right. Um, but, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like how it's going so far. Like, I feel like we're flirting successfully, but I'm not sure if the ending is going to be like the best possible ending that we could get. That's true. All right. Well, that being said, I think we're doing great. In hardcore worst case, guys, we'll just reload the save and just cheat our way through it. All right. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>